I was shocked to see the amount of DMs that I have gotten over the past few years about how you don't show your feet around your man. Hello, what's going on here? I practically shove my feet in my boyfriend's mouth constantly. Today we are gonna be doing an updated foot routine, how to have pretty feet, my pretty feet tips. A little birdie told me that if you don't like feet, or you're weird around feet, then you're childish. I didn't say it, a little birdie said it. But listen guys, I genuinely think that if you take good care of your feet, you will not have feet problems. I could literally get fat, skinny again. I literally almost scrapped this video because of that piece of hair right there. So if it's bothering you, I'm sorry. But listen guys, mind your business and talk about feet. All right, let's talk about feet. Let's not worry about my hair. And ugly, stinky, I could have acne all over my face and my body, look like a crazy person. But one thing I'll always know is that my feet are friggin' awesome. So if you guys wanna know how to have pretty feet, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, and let's just get into the video. Okay, pedicures. I've talked about this in my last video, but we're gonna talk about it again. I'm gonna get a little bit more specific. So I started going to a pedicure or a nail salon that specializes in really good pedicures. You can get several different types of pedicures. You can get like just a regular standard pedicure. You can get like a pedicure that costs a little bit more and they do some callus removing for you. Don't worry, none of like the callus removing stuff at my particular salon and hopefully the ones that you end up going to do not do anything that's like weird cringeworthy gross honestly i do not stand for that unhygienic weirdness it's just a lot of different moisturizers that they use and scrubs and stuff like that so i do pick the callus removing pedicure it's about 48 bucks Yes, it's a little bit much. I mean, I remember back when I was younger, like nails and pedicures would cost like $25. Those were the days, but me personally, I don't care. I'll spend the coin if it's gonna have me walking out looking good. Find a place that will specialize in that if you don't wanna do it yourself and just get a quality, a quality pedicure. I personally think I started the trend of black French, you know, I, I'm the one who invented the vibes. So if you guys end up getting a black French, let me know, tag me on Instagram at Haley Gamba. I want to see your black French because I feel like it's the new vibe for me. I've been doing it twice, three times, and I've been loving it. I used to do white toes. I even used to do white French, but now we're doing black French. We've upgraded thin black line, you know, a good vibe. It looks good with everything. It's a neutral. It's a must have, it's a necessity. So my apartment, like I told you before, has been, you know, being really mean to my feet. The floors, I believe are not real hardwood, which in most apartments are like that nowadays. And it has just really been rough on my feet. So before I even mention this to you guys, my stepdad is a foot doctor. Do not come for me. He told me this was okay. Okay. But I have been building up calluses and I, have a tool that I've been using. Now, I wouldn't recommend to use this that often, but if you're really noticing like a whole step, like a horse hoof, okay, your foot is looking like a horse hoof, it is hard as a rock, you can bang something against it and you won't even feel it, like no nerves are even present, you need yourself a foot scraper. I wouldn't suggest to go ham with this, but do it, okay, do it. And it happens to our toes as well. I know wherever you put pressure, depending on like your body and like the way your hips are like, you know, positioned, depending on that will be where you put the most pressure on your feet. So I put the most pressure on my big toe and on my heel. So I have to, you know, get to scraping. I think it's a really great tool. I don't find it to be harsh at all. Maybe I have like really bad calluses, but it's not hard. And now my feet looking like baby soft. They never look gross anymore. And I still have feeling in my feet. I got the feeling back in my feet again so if you try to tickle my heel i'll feel it okay these things right here i guess they're like a pumice i don't know if this is a pumice they're really great for smoothing the feet these two together are my new tried and true i know i used to say in the past that i don't really recommend these but i do now i think they're great and um my feet have never looked better so i love these and um give them a try i got them on amazon i'll link them down below now we taking it up a notch we are going straight into foot scrubs i do this about two to three times a week i think it feels nice it's a tea tree oil cooling foot scrub this is great stepping into the winter months you want to still take care of your feet just because your toes aren't going to be out as much doesn't mean you're not wearing heels i know for me even the heels that i wear in the winter time have a little heel showing so i do still have to take care of my heels, take care of my feet in general. Scrubs are great. I, again, again, repeating myself, if you do not wash your legs and your feet in the shower, are you childish? Is there something wrong with you? What is going on here? You need to wash your legs, you need to wash your feet, and take it up a notch and wash your legs and feet with a scrub. 
massage it in there. Don't be afraid to get between the toes. Don't be afraid to really scrub your feet. They're your feet, it's your body. Why are you weirded out about touching them? You shouldn't be. It will have your feet looking phenomenal, beautiful, fabulous, stunning. I still do my lotion with socks, trend, vibe. Okay, literally any lotion. I would suggest Nivea. Nivea is like one of my favorites. Really lather it on the foot before bed, put a nice sock on. I have graduated to the fuzzy socks because it is getting cold out and I like fuzzy socks. I just like a fuzzy sock, so I do like a lot of lotion. I will put it on my feet, put the fuzzy sock on. I probably end up kicking the sock off in the middle of the night because your girl likes her things breathing, her cooch and her feet. I like them breathing, but I attempt, I attempt, I try to keep the sock on for as long as possible. Even do it before bed if you know you're gonna kick your sock off before. I love this trick. It makes your feet go from really dry to pretty moisturized by the morning and it's just a vibe. We want moisturized feet. And to be honest, if you have a man like me and you boss him around, make sure he massages your feet. I don't even have to ask my man anymore. It's on clockwork. He massages my feet too often. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how much he massages my feet because y'all are gonna think he's whipped. I promise you he has a voice. It's just, listen, we're watching a movie. I kind of do this thing where I just wiggle my foot in his face. I wiggle it like this, you know what I mean? Like I just wiggle it around. And he pretty much just goes, grabs the lotion and he massages my feet 20 minutes on each foot. Now that's called a queen. He gonna love your feet even more because he's the one taking care of them, you know what I'm saying? Okay, before you go out, before you're about to have your foot exposed, do a little oil on the feet. Now I wouldn't suggest to do it to the bottom of your feet because you'll be slipping around your shoe, but put it on the top of your feet. It has a nice glisten that looks natural. I used to say to put the Fenty Body Lava all over your foot, but we have graduated to grown woman things. And I personally feel like, you know, the sparkle is great. It looks good for an event, but if you're just doing a little stepping out on the town, you don't need to go that extra. Just a nice little, oil a little body oil literally the smallest amount rub it on the foot like maybe 20 minutes before you leave put your heel on and your feet are gonna look amazing we do not do ashy feet in 2020 no ashy ankles either don't neglect that at all now for good smelling feet um usually like you know this could be a sweating problem maybe handle that there are some dermatologists that will recommend certain things for your feet but if it's just because your shoes stink you need to take better care of your shoes did I say shoes so I like to stick dryer sheets in my shoes occasionally I also have some type of like I think they're like some sort of like what is it called like a cloth thing that like has a smell to it and you can stick it in your shoes so I would suggest some sort of shoe refreshing or whatever you like dryer sheets work I like it a lot and if you are wearing heels at the end of the night, wipe them down with some sort of antibacterial cloth. A subscriber actually told me that trick and I've been doing it and my shoes are always staying fresh. You will never ever get the chance to sniff my shoe and smell anything other than beauty, okay? It smells like a flower market on my shoe. Don't you worry and mind your business. Again, shave your hairy toes. I have hairy toes. I ain't ashamed of it. I am not ashamed of my hairy toes. I shave them, absolutely. And yeah, end of story. If you have hair on your feet, don't be ashamed of it. Just give it a quick little shave in the shower when you're shaving your legs. You guys already know the deal. I'm sure you guys already know this. I'm just here to relay the message. That's my job. Okay, something that I learned is to stop walking around my house barefoot. I don't care what time of day it is, my slippers are on my feet. I picked these up at Amazon. What I love about them is that they're open toe like a sandal, so I don't have to subject myself to covering up my gorgeous pedicure. So these are great. They're nice and sturdy, and they honestly feel like a shoe. Like I could literally go outside in these and walk my dogs. I don't because I don't track coronavirus into my house, but slippers. This has been the saving grace for my heels. I didn't realize that my heels were suffering because I was walking barefoot in my own home. So I don't do that anymore. And socks won't cut it. Don't tell me, oh, I wear socks. Socks are not gonna cut it. You need something with cushion. Cushion and a nice sturdy bottom so that your feet are not putting pressure on the ground. You need something soft. I will link these slippers down below if I can find them or I'll link ones that I want. So those are all of my tips for keeping your feet looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You're not gonna be struggling. Winter doesn't mean hiding your feet and not taking care of them absolutely not okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and follow me on instagram your girl is struggling on instagram what's going on i mean i really don't post on there often but i'm going to start because i'm about to be a real influencer if you know what i mean so please follow me on there i love you guys so, so much and yeah maybe we'll do a giveaway soon who knows i love you guys Mwah. see you guys in my next video